Big news on the Twitch front. Twitch CEO Emmett Shear has officially stepped down as CEO of Twitch after 16 years of service. Wow, that's crazy. This guy was the head of Twitch since its inception. Seriously, why are these like bigwig CEOs stepping down from their companies? Like first you got Susan with YouTube and now Emmett Shear. It's really weird. Now, if you don't know who Emmett Shear is, I wouldn't be surprised. Seriously, this guy is like an enigma. Like he has like no social media presence whatsoever. Like I actually had to look up who the Twitch's CEO was because I didn't even know before making this video. I just saw a Twitch CEO step down and really didn't know who the guy was. So today what I want to kind of do is like kind of cover who the guy is and who's unfortunately replacing him because it's not some good news. But before I kind of get into that, if you could uh, like the video, share this with all your friends, and subscribe if you're brand new around here. Also, be sure to uh, tick that bell so that way you're informed of future videos. And with that out of the way, let's get started on the Twitch news. Honestly, it is kind of good that Twitch CEO Emmett Shear is kind of stepping down because seriously, Twitch has been catching L after L. If it's not from, you know, the Adriana Check Chick thing, if it's not from literally just like, you know, the streamers getting paid less to just any other L that they've kind of been just, you know, dishing to themselves. Like, they really need to, like, change the game plan because what they're doing is not working. And if they keep going at the rate they're going, then Kick is going to honestly be the new Twitch at this rate. Seriously. But, yeah, honestly, Emmett has been a part of Twitch for longer than I thought. Seriously, he's been there since his inception in 2006. He kind of goes over this in his tweet, which is honestly the first time I've ever seen this guy even tweet. This guy's, like, been a ghost. Like, I've never actually seen him, like, talk about Twitch or anything like that. So uh, I'm going to read the you know, tweet, and here we go. In October 2006, we started working on a live video for the internet. That became Twitch. More than 16 years later, I am now a father ready to move to my next phase of my life. I wrote a blog post, but the short version is thank you so much to everyone who built this with me. Honestly, very heartwarming. Like, that is a very heartwarming tweet, which is honestly something that, like, you kind of don't see, like, on Twitter. So it's really nice to see. But yeah, honestly, this guy has been a part of Twitch for about 16 years now. I didn't even know, like, Twitch actually even had a CEO. I just thought, like, Jeff Bezos literally just, you know, did every decision there. I mean, it would explain why, like, all the, you know, policies and all that for the last couple of years. It would kind of make sense. But no, uh, Emmett Shear was the one doing it. And this guy was an absolute ghost. From, like, what I looked up in history, dude, this guy literally did, like, almost nothing in in Twitch. Like, he never talked about it on social media. He never went to, like, any of the Twitch events. Nothing. Like, this guy literally, you, you don't even know he was CEO. You could probably see him walking down the street, and you probably wouldn't even know he was a Twitch CEO. Seriously. That, that's how, like, that's how, like, uh, much of an enigma this guy was. Just absolutely insane. But... Yeah, I saw a lot of people being happy about this news, and don't get me wrong, like, it sounds like good news, it's like, man, this changes, like, you know, right around the time, like, you know, Susan left, like, and that's kind of how it was for YouTube, but I don't think it's going to be good for Twitch, because, honestly, if it's going to go the way the EA went, like, that's how I kind of see it, like, with the old kind of EA president to Andrew Wilson, which is the guy who basically makes EA games the worst. That's why literally every EA game like Madden, 2K, and all those games literally are the worst right now. He's the reason. So if you haven't played those games in a while, that's the reason. But yeah, I kind of think Twitch is going to go down that way too because they actually did announce who is going to be the new CEO, sadly. And it is the current president right now of Twitch, uh, Dan Clancy. So, if you don't know who Dan Clancy is, allow me to give you kind of a brief rundown. This is the guy who essentially um, made that terrible decision of essentially the 50-50 split, which is like the worst thing like creators have been like complaining about. Like, they essentially went from like, oh, you get about 70% now to 50%. So, he was the mastermind behind that. So, already not off to a good start. See, with, like, CEOs and, like, people at the head of the company, you actually want them to be for consumers and actually for the people. But, no, it sounds like this guy really is not for creators or people on Twitch. It sounds like he just wants to make a quick buck. And that's kind of why, like, whenever you, like, either watch my stream or anyone else's that you like, that's why there's ads everywhere. He's the reason. So, yeah, guy's already been 0 for 2, so not really going good. And honestly, 
it's kind of scary because, you know, at least with, like, Twitch right now, like, the guy who was in charge before, Emmett Shear, really didn't do anything. He was kind of more hands-off and just kind of did whatever he wanted. Like, he was more like, all right, you guys got this. This guy's more hands-on, which could be a good thing, but at the same time really bad because he's done two terrible policies so far. It wouldn't put it past me that this guy was definitely in charge of the um, of the uh, beta, you know, ban. I wouldn't be surprised if he was the one who did that too. Because, again, Emmett Shear was the CEO for 16 years, and he didn't even know it, I feel like. He probably just like, just like, oh, I'm the Twitch CEO. I completely forgot to resign. That's pretty much how he was. But no, I think Dan Clancy, the current president, yeah, is going to be really bad. Because with CEOs, especially more hands-on ones, this guy's going to be more business-oriented, which means that it is not going to be for creators. So if you see Twitch, honestly, you know, being more like, oh, you can't be having swear words on there, I wouldn't be shocked. Seriously. I would not be surprised if he were to do something like that and make it to the point where, like, Twitch becomes like day, like a daycare center where you can't even swear. I wouldn't be shocked. But yeah, th this guy just does not sound great. Even uh, a fellow creator, I think his name is DJ Wheat, said this. Dan once told the company he relates with creators because he was involved in drama and theater when he was in high school. He is a good human, but I never felt like he was able to relate to creators and the struggles they face in their careers. Yeah, honestly... It's kind of like it's kind of like your like you know parents saying like oh you know I know about them like yellows and all that it's kind of like that it's like oh gosh it's it's so cringe but yeah this guy from the sounds of it does not know anything about Twitch he does not seem like he relates to creators or video games in that nature he seems more like a businessman at the end of the day and just seems more like an inept person that should not be running Twitch personally to me they should have gotten someone else someone who was like you know either a like a former streamer who like you know goes to TwitchCon and is more more of an ambassador or someone who actually just knows what they're talking about See, like, you want someone who actually knows what they're talking about, especially, like, if you're going for, like, a recommendation for something, or better yet, when, like, you want to run a company. If you are basically going to get someone, who, like, let's just say this. Let's say you're trying to get a personal trainer or something, and you want to get the best personal trainer out there. You would get someone who looks like, you know, Hulk Hogan or, like, Arnold. You'd get one of them. You would not be getting, like, local Starbucks dude who weighs, like, 350 pounds. You would not get that for, you know... Fitness, you wouldn't. That just doesn't make any sense. You would definitely not get any sort of result with them. That would just be dumb. And that's the same way with Dan Clancy. This guy seems like the worst, you know, CEO, seriously. Like, he seems like the worst possible choice because he does not relate with the creators and he's been in charge of the two worst decisions to possibly, you know, go on the platform. I honestly think it might get worse and people might just go to kick because... Unlike Dan Clancy, the guy who made Kick is a former streamer, and he actually, you know, has streamers' minds and heart. That's what I mean. You want that for a CEO. You want someone who actually knows what it's like to be a streamer and what it's like to actually, you know, have good, you know, decisions. Every decision that he's made so far has not been good. He's basically going to be bad in, like, like zero to a thousand. He's going to be getting more L's than like the Chicago Cubs did before they won the World Series. Like it's going to be that bad. But we will wait and see. I honestly do believe that it, it can always get worse. Who, who knows? Who knows? This guy could completely pull a 180 and just literally become the best CEO. I mean, look at what happened with, um, yeah, look at what happened with Respawn. Seriously. No one literally thought that company would be any good, and now look at them. They're making Fallen Order and Apex, so anything's possible. But yeah, just, I really am kind of scared for the CEO, but we'll wait and see. We'll see how everything goes, but overall, yeah, not very excited for them. Yeah, at the end of the day, like, why would people be excited about this news? Seriously, like, this news honestly just brings more and more pain to come because... The person who is in charge now has...
been in charge of so many inept decisions. And that's what I mean. Like, with, like, companies are just streaming services, like, all it takes is one bad leader to just ruin everything. And that's probably what this guy is going to do, most likely. I mean, seriously, just, like, this guy was in charge of, like, the, you know, 50-50 split that no one wanted. Like, just a completely terrible decision that, like, affected streamers. And this guy's going to be the new CEO? Yeah, no wonder why Twitch is going down the toilet, and no wonder why everyone's joining Kick. I mean, you wonder why, because just absolutely terrible leadership. But yeah, I kind of wanted to cover this, uh, you know, topic because I saw a trend on Twitter, and also, like, I actually wanted to see if there was an actual change with Twitch, but sadly, it's more of the same and going to be really terrible from here on out. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like, share this, and uh, subscribe if you're brand new around here. It really helps out a lot. And with that out of the way, I'm going to get off and go play some more Call of Duty. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.